Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. There must be some reason that they pooped us all the way back over to the start. So eh, I guess we could take a look, see around, see new dialogue and stuff. And he's like, eh, I don't know, that kind of heat, our stupendous stew will be ruined. We've got to stop that crazy boil. But no way anyone can end up there. Our stew is doomed. Eh, there's probably some way up there. So now there's the cheese blocks up here that you can use to kind of get around a little bit quicker around, like, say on the roof and stuff like that. But, but, eh, I'm, I'm actually more concerned about something else over here that is now over here. <laughs> Light those and you'll get yourself a moon. Oh yeah, baby! Woo! Like the two flames. Oh yeah. And I wonder if I could like melt cheese with this guy here. Can I? Is this nah I didn't think so. I figured that I needed a hammer, or I should say a frying pan to break those blocks. Uh by the way, there's also a bunch of cleared areas now here. Look at that. It's like the whole world has changed for some reason. Crazy, right? As a matter of fact, this route that we took before is, uh, yeah, what happened? <laughs> uh, well, you can actually still warp around, but, uh, but, uh, nah. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Let's just go ahead and, oh, a new pot. What could this pot be for? Well, remember also, by the way, uh, there is that er area down there which was a dead end before. But it's like the whole wall has shifted. Anyway, if you jump in here as a potoboo, you can kind of see your angle of attack. And you just fire. Yeah. And the checkpoint has moved over there, by the way. <laughs> And if you don't mind, I'll just climb up here, though. I know you, you probably will mind a little bit, because you're not supposed to let people through here, but you probably won't have that much of a choice as long as I've got my hat, and I can jump on your head and stuff like that, so... Too bad for you, Mr. Firebro! <laughs> and the checky pointy volcano... Oh, yeah. Okay, fine, here. Are you happy? Are you happy? The cave over there is our only way to the peak! Oh no! But before I do that... Um... I, I realized that I missed a couple of things here. For one... Th oh, well, the same dialogue as before, but the thing about it was... Over here, there was a couple of purple coins under here. Yeah! Completely forgot about those somehow. So, boink! There we go. Wait, that was I get. Oh, I must have got like two at the same time or something like that. Uh, the other thing that I'd like to go ahead and flop over to is whoops is that Magmato area. Uh, the warps, as you see, are kind of currently borked, so I can't exactly just like flop over there very quickly like I did before. So I'll just do it this way, and here we are. And I also over here. Uh, I need to go. I need to go use this, well, I could have used it before, to get up here and get these purples and see this thingy up here as well. I might as well just grab this with my hat, but also, uh, I do believe I got this wrong. I don't think you needed a fire bro there. What you needed was a, uh, well, yeah, a poto, uh, well, ah, lava bubble. What you're supposed to do is land it in there. And yeah, that, yeah, I remembered that because I was like, I thought I needed a fire bro before to get there, but no, I did not. <laughs> because the fire bros, they kinda, kinda can't reach that, so yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's warp over to the new warp location, and now we can go through the obvious 8-bit era, now that we have cleared that out, so hello! <laughs> Oh man, that's like old-fashioned hammer bro of deadliness. <laughs> that's a, a lot more dangerous than when they're in 3D, let me tell you. Uh, is there anything like... Just to be sure, eh. What about up above those blocks? Because I don't remember if there was anything in here offhand that, were like, that was like extra secret or anything like that. So I figured, eh. 
Let's enjoy the 8-bit version of the music while we explore around. I, I don't remember there being anything, but I've said that before and then I've had to go over to areas again, so... Yeah. <laughs> I guess there's that, but that's not exactly what I'm looking for in terms of, like, secrets. I guess I'll just have to settle for the purples for now and cross the corn for more purples. We have hit favorite number of many, and then we have passed it before people comment about it. And we're here. Although I guess technically I commented about it. Oink. And so this cave right here, we poop through here, and it is a lot of lava. It's Lava Falls 101 here. I want to see what's in those for really first, really quick. Um, I just want to. I thought there was actually something up a waterfall. Uh, maybe it's not this early in here, but I could have swore there was some waterfall. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and get ourselves up there. And don't worry about these; they just kind of push you around. But that's not really even a problem, considering that you just bump right off of them and stuff like that. I just want to make sure I've got everything here. Just looking around, feeling around. Before I go on up ahead, and then it reverses. Oh man, oh man. Uh, I just want to get a nice upper view here to see. Uh, maybe this is the thing that I was thinking of that was the higher secret area. Uh, it could be, might be. I mean, at the very least, it does seem to be something that is there to throw you off your game. Eh, Elko behind the pillars of magma completed. And. I guess we can move on from here. Oh, that's right, I can't, like... I need to, I need to use the power of the spouting lava. And, oh, I also need to light this somehow. Bunk! Yeah! That will do. That will do. And it should also open that door. Uh, well, I should, say, I should say, make a bridge come up. And open that door. Because this is actually the end of the chapter. Yeah, it's, it's a very short chapter. <laughs> So needless to say, you're going to start working on the next chapter right away here. And we're going to be pooped out that side of the door. Cookatiel Showdown. Guess, guess who we're facing off against by the end of this part? <laughs> uh, just before I finish this off here, I just want to peek around the edges. Make sure I don't miss any purples. Okay. I thought I got them all, and I was right. Oh, that isn't a hat door. You don't use your hat to open that door. Um, get those lit. I believe you actually need a fire bro or the power of the flower. Remember how we do this? Is we uh, kick something into its mouth and then we throw the hat on it. <laughs> Remember? Remember? Then we can use this manually to light these. Otherwise you have to kind of do some fancy dodging mechanisms to get it to spew fire at those uh, little torches over there, but eh, I just did it that way. Light the far off lanterns is completed. And oh, well, I guess that's fine. They automatically destroy themselves when kicked in the lava. Uh, I also thought that one of these had something. One of these salt piles, like another salt pile. Uh, there is this. That's not exactly what I'm talking about here. I thought it was like another moon or something like that, but. Mm -hmm. I guess I could just ground pound them all, see see what I come up with. <laughs> I don't think it's on any of the moving platforms, because that would be really awkward to actually ground pound. So it's just probably one of the stationary ones. And I'll just fearlessly jump right by the Venus Fire Trap. Or Fire Piranha Plant, depends on what the game calls it. Ow! Stop that! I just want to ground pound your land. Oh, that's actually a moving platform. Never mind. Uh, and that is Captain Toad over there. We cannot reach that right now. At least I don't think you can. Maybe you can with some really awkward jumps or something like that, but that you're not supposed to do. But, but well, let's just leave him for now and do it the proper way later. I guess you could say. Over here is a secret. Aha! <laughs> Not that much of a secret, though, because you can see the ledge from the other side. A little life up goodie there. And you can also, I think, wall kick your way up there. You Well, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I, I will do that soon enough, but I just want to look around here before I get ahead of myself. Just don't want to 
lose out on stuff before I start climbing the big mountain from the backside. And I don't mean Rosie O'Donnell or something like that. No, no, I mean just just actual mountain. And yeah, I, I could have used the fork, but no, no, I'm I'm, I'm climbing this manually. <laughs> guess. Uh, oh yeah, I guess I need to use this fork for most ease of use of collecting these. No. Alternately, I probably could just do like some long jump, hat flipping, fanciness right here, but eh, yeah, we're good. Oh, spiny, spiny, go, go. And these blocks, they have lava on one side, solid, regular surface on another. That certainly doesn't seem like like the lava would hold itself on there. But I guess it's so thick, it indeed does. Kind of. I mean, it does show some bubbles and it flies in the air, but maybe it's just like tar or something like that, where occasionally it'll poop up in midair and yeah. Now I got some petrified peppers coming along our way, we've got to avoid through this narrow passageway, well, narrow walkway. It's kind of coming out of this particular hole here. Uh, I don't remember if there's anything over here. I'm probably going to regret doing this because I'm going to have to climb back up again. Uh, yeah, I regret doing that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll see you back around. But I just had to see what it was. Whoops, what was up over there? Just, just for kicks. Oh, I could use that checkpoint. That's right. Whoops. Well, it wasn't that long anyway. <laughs> okay, so oh, this is flipping around to the nice side. Okay, peppers. You know you want to come and attack me, and I will wait for your advances. So then I can pass by safely. Now, over here, coinages, and we are nearing the top actually already. Now this is the opposite of what you wanted to do before. Was uh, before you wanted to jump in on the flat side that had no lava, but this time you want to jump on the side that does have lava, so that you can actually explore this sort of stuff over here. Isn't that fancy? <laughs> it's like a little thinker puzzle dealio. Like, you don't have to use these platforms if you're in the powers of the lava bubble. Not far from the top indeed, I know. As a matter of fact, they're pretty close. Very close, in fact. Top of the peak climb is a go, and I think there's actually, uh... Yeah, there's coins here, but I thought there was actually, like, a moon on top of one of these, like, a glowy spot. I don't know, maybe it's later on. Anyway, let's go in here! And fly! Oh, the stupendous stew does not look the same way it did before. Cook a teal! You're gone down this time, you silly bird! And so there's food in here which you can knock around for hearts and coins and stuff like that, but you gotta wait for it to do something here before you can actually do something here. You'll see what I mean, it's spewing vegetables and stuff like that, but don't worry about it too much. You just want it to throw up at you. It doesn't sound like a good idea, but you can climb up that barf and go up to its head and give it a bonk. <laughs> yeah, um, maybe that's why it has to eat so much. It has such horrendous vomit spurts that it's just like, I gotta keep going, I gotta keep eating, but unfortunately, it spewed into the stupendous stew and it's not good. It's not good, believe me. <laughs> Alright, round two. And now it's a wavy spew of vomit. Look out for the spiky balls. The peppers. More spiky balls. But there's a third phase and it's by far the hardest phase to hit him in. Because it has actual breaks in its vomit streams. Which will not be pretty whatsoever trying to climb up, because you can easily fall through it. Whoops, I was not paying attention there like I was on the other areas. That's okay, though. We got six health, and we know how to utilize it. Badly! <laughs> Alright, do your spewing, here we go! Final round! <laughs> As you can tell, this one's a lot more haphazard than the other one was. So be mindful of your jumps very carefully. Yeah! Victor is mine! <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that's... Oh no, we've we made it into an ingredient! Oh. Oh no. Oh no. I think we are the one that ended up ruining the stew. After all. Maybe we should stop destroying the ingredients and just grab this multi-moon. Woohoo! So now at this point you could leave the kingdom, but with me and my collecting side, I'm probably gonna wander around the smidge to places that I couldn't before, now that there are some cannons and stuff like that unlocked. So, we'll see what I can get. Uh, there's not that much area that we haven't been to, but yeah. Well, you'll, you'll see when we get around there. Oh, well. Okay, well, <laughs> I was gonna say, um, I think... Uh, yeah, I think this would be the closest spot. See, uh, before, we could not get a Podobu to the upper right area of this place because there is a huge wall in the way. We cannot get any sort of... Well, I keep saying Podobu with their lava bubbles. Split. Yes, I know we did, but there's a new place unlocked here. Yeah, this was all walled off before. Now we can go here. This is one of the few new areas that we haven't really been to here. Just a couple of purples hanging out around this cannon here. And this cannon in particular, yes, I know there's a note there, but I'll, I'm coming back here soon enough. Uh, this will lead you over to here, but this cannon leads you over... Whoops, I didn't mean to. I just want to fire. I mashed, I mashed the Y button, but it's actually the B button. I want to get launched up on top of that high plateau there, where that moon is, but I don't remember which cannon it was. I guess I could do that note thing right away. So here we go. Let's let's take some more notes and go ahead and hopefully do this smoothly because this lava is kind of on the bumpy side, so it kind of messes with your perspective a little bit. Oh wait, 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 wait. I got it! Yeah. Okay, I guess I'll figure out the cannon thing in a bit. There's just there's a problem going on this island. Besides taking notes, Sumi and Magma, but over here he's like, "Oh, oh, what's going on? I'm here to fix all the spots that cracked open, but just my luck. I can't walk in there without getting knocked on my melon. Wish so I could get the job done, though. So what we gotta do is we gotta pound all the spots on the ground. Wait, got any more dialogue for kicks? Uh, no. Okay. So let's go ahead and get to pounding." <laughs> Let's pound those spots, and basically, the peppers go where those spots are. And there's a door behind there, but I'll get to that in a minute, too. So I figure out the cannon situation. I think it's actually on the other side that the cannon is, and whoops. That was just terrible, terrible movement on my part. Oh, it's a painting, not a, not a door, my bad. Well, I guess paintings are like a door in the Mario world. And yes, the peppers are spewed directly at you. And there we go. All fixed up. Interestingly, though, when you leave the area and come back, those spots will be... You're welcome. Those spots will be back. So, those cracks are only temporarily fixed. And anyway, uh, I guess I can go to the 8-bit pipe, see what's up or down there. Oh, oh it's gravity time. We got a classic. <laughs> Don't worry about the peppers, they're above the surface. Yeah, we got a classic hammer bro formation here. I was gonna say wait until there's a break between the hammers, but just like the classic hammer bros, it's difficult to get be between those suckers. And get those bad boys over there. And to the lower area in the lava of doom. This is gonna, yeah, it's gonna be kind of in my way a little bit. That's all I can get. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Not paying attention. Uh, let's see here. Anything above the world there? No? Okay, just some upside down. No big deal. Beneath the rolling vegetables is a go. And if you pop out here, you literally just pop out right there. <laughs> uh, I guess I could go in here. Yeah, I guess I'll go in here now. Man, that, that place looks familiar. Hmm. Where have I seen that castle before? Hmm. Hmm, I say. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, the Mushroom Kingdom, of course. Yoshi's house. What's Yoshi's house doing over here? Uh, you can take a look around, but 
Obviously, we can't exactly get over there, so, uh... Yeah! We're staying around here, and we're gonna look around. I'm gonna read... Hello, sorry I'm not at home, but I've gone to Peach's Castle. Dang it, Yoshi! Dang it! <laughs> Put out this fire, and then go up the chimney. Check this out. A star! A star- what? A st what is a star thing? Well, the stars in this kingdom are the moons. <laughs> it's also a Super Mario 64 reference. <laughs> Apparently, power moons come in other shapes. I had no idea. <laughs> Me neither until I came here. <laughs> Maybe those stars they collected in Super Mario 64 and other Mario Collectathon games, they weren't actually stars. They were moons in disguise! Who knows? All I know is I should probably take a look-see up in treetops here. Hmm, hold on. I'm gonna go back around and take a look around and down. I just don't want to miss anything on these little islands because little islands are kind of kind of an afterthought in most cases. Yeah, I don't see anything else. So I guess since Yoshi isn't here, We've got to go, and yes, that little sign there was a reference to Super Mario World as well. Where if you went to Yoshi's house, you know, the very first stage in the game, without Yoshi, Yoshi will say he's not there. <laughs> Alright! So about that cannon, let's try and figure out what the poop we can do with this. See, the cracks are back! <laughs> okay, um... Wait, actually... Uh, if the cannon isn't on this this side, maybe I could just go over to Captain Toad, or this small area here. Uh, yeah, I'll just go over to this small area here. It's a non-hat challenge, basically. And we're in. No hat jumping, no mercy! Uh, I don't remember if there's anything... I mean, there's a treble, but I mean, I don't know if there was purples. So I take a look see up there. Oh yeah, I can't throw my hat! <laughs> so this is uh, tilting like tick-tock clock. So you might want to practice your time jumps here. When it wiggles, do a jump. Got it? Good. At least, well, pra oh yeah, I was going to throw my hat again. I'm so used to my hat. <laughs> when, I, when, I have, when I don't have my hat, I feel like... I feel like nothing, nothing. <laughs> okay, now for this, you wanna go, yeah, right on the edge. And, wait, where was the, you're just messing with me now, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, where's the last two? Ah, okay, yeah, we can go hop up there, grab that, taking notes, spinning athletics, bingo. Now I can go ahead and grab the regular moon of the area. I did my, I was gonna do a hat jump again! I'm so used to using my hat as like a sort of alternate way to attack the jump. Oh, That was way too risky. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, those are the last ones! Awesome! Yes! <laughs> oh yeah, I can do this. Badly I could do that. Well... <laughs> Well, maybe I shouldn't have taken that route, at least not without better timing on my part. And we're back to the starts, of course. Really, there's not... I mean, there, there's a lot of stuff that you can just skip over in this one. You don't have to go platform by platform. You just go zoop, 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 zoop from one to the other. Like, I'm just gonna go right on over here if I want to. And look at that, we're already back to where we were. <laughs> and I think for this one, I'm gonna go... Uh, <laughs> I held back! Ah! I was, I was thinking that maybe I should hold back. I mean, I shouldn't jump out there, but I was like, oh, no, I, oh, and then I hesitated, and it was over. <laughs> ah, poopers. Alright, do it again, but this time with more success, PK Gam. <laughs> maybe I'll just wait, wait on here for a bit. There we go, okay. Now, we're gonna play this safe. How's that sound? <laughs> yes, you can indeed use the uh, sides of the blocks to eh, kind of give yourself a little extra boost if you'd like to. And look at that! Look at look what happens when you're when you're doing things nice and smoothly. It's just magical. 
<laughs> Spinning athletics end goal is a done. With all the purples gone, you know what that means! Yeah, there's now um, a checkpoint back over here. It's like the, the checkpoints from before were kind of erased at one point just for the sake of kind of like story progression and stuff like that. And just te just temporarily. Our Stupendous 2 turned out fine, and there's lots of it. So we're going to throw a celebration soon. Don't miss our cooking carnival. It's a big eat and beat party that will bring in visitors from all over. Heck yeah. Sweetness. Uh, there's a lot of places that you could decorate. You should probably cover up that lava before guests fall in it or something, though. That would probably be a wise investment of your time. <laughs> Just saying. You know, you got... Oh, yes, yes. Lots of tons of work. Eh, one more over here. <laughs> eh, I don't know. Anyway, let's go buy... Buy out the purple coin shop. I'm gonna end with uh, buying the uh, cook's outfit and stuff like that. Or chef's... Yeah. Because I could be a painter. Could be a Bob Ross, but we need to be this to get a moon inside that little house. So I'll just, just go f start from the right side and go off to the left. So let's go ahead and buy ourselves a pile of petrified fruits for... Yeah, you can stack them like blocks. <laughs> for our Odyssey decorations. Souvenir forks. Eh, they look like you could even use them in a practical manner too. Put on a little sticker on the side there. It's like putting stickers on our suitcase traveling around the world. Painter outfit. Sure, sure. It'll be like a Madeline in Kirby 64, baby. Finally. Is, is <laughs> I, I think... Well, I think it is, because you could have an afro, as shown by Bob Ross. Now, I'll just show you the outfit really quick. I'll probably change into it later on. I do. I believe I, I believe I need to for a moon. I just want to give you a nice view of myself here, really quick, with the outfit. Okay, we're good. Now, I'm going to get the chef's hat. Already went through the dialogue on this before. There we go. And definitely got to get that red scarf. The, the main thing is that you got to buy the red scarf. And the rest of it just comes with it. You just you just kind of accept the rest of the suits, just because. Alright. We are now an official chef of the kingdom, so we are able to go over into this locked place. And he's like, oh, this here's the place where chefs come dressed to cook. And hey, you got the clothes to hat! Come right on in! Okie dokie. And we're in. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> We've got this pot on a good simmer. It really brings out the flavor. But you know what? Could be better. A little hotter. That'd do it. I just can't get any more heat from that lava. Hmm. I wonder if how, if we could get something hot in there. Yeah, we should probably see if we can do something about that. Like what? Ah! <laughs> the edge of the pot did me in. And yunk. All right. Let's heat this up with our body. And get a moon! Oh, but don't you dare think for. I missed! I missed! <laughs> Dang it! Dang it! I was just gonna get it on a backflip, but you know what? I might have to actually go get a lava bubble again. Alright. Moink! Oink! There we go! It's the hardest part! It's <laughs> getting the lava bubble back in there. Now, that's not all. As you see, there's a whole area over here. What the poop can you do about this? You've got the Magmatos here? Yeah, try and jump yourself onto them so that you can make pools as you go. Like so. Whoa! One more. And then I guess... Oh, oh actually, I don't need to get... Yeah. <laughs> I just need to get up over here. No! <sighs> I was doing so well. <laughs> Oh, man! Oh, man! Everything is super, super smooth. And then... It ruined every- Oh, jeez! <laughs> Everything is just ruined in seconds because I hit the, the edge of the pot again. Getting in the edge of the pot is truly the most difficult part of this for some reason. <laughs> yeah, okay, alright. Skip the upper area. Okay, here we go, here we go. Get a running start. I went too far! 
it's possible to get too much juice on your movement. Ah! <laughs> We're never making it out of here. Never. Not in the history of gaming are we making it out of here. Whoops. Oh, that's okay. As long as, I, oops, as long as I can get another one here. There we go. Before this magma pool dissipates. Can I reach the... Yes, I can. It looked a little bit on the far side, but we're okay. Actually, you know what? I will try and get these for kicks. There you go. I'll be extra fancy. Alright. Okay, regular speed now. There we go! Mother of Arceus. <laughs> ah, no, oh no, no, wait, I did it again. Well, this time, I don't think I, I don't think I need that. I, maybe I do. <laughs> I sure hope I don't need that. Oh shoot! Uh, can I get a potaboo? I mean, I keep saying potaboo. Can I get a lava bubble from anywhere? That's relatively safe. Man, I'm just flubbing this like nobody's business today. <laughs> this, this must be a way. To get it safe, safely, I think that I think the moon will still stay there. But good Arceus, am I flubbing this up? Uh, no, the moon is actually gone. <laughs> I technically have to redo it. <laughs> I mean, why I say technically is because I still kind of have to get a lava bubble up there anyway. So oh. that's why I say you gotta carefully aim yourself at those things because it's kind of easy to miss and end up actually landing on land instead of magma. Yeah. But when it's all spread out, you can just grab another one really quick and have a nice good time across the lava. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> don't, don't jump out of the pot before getting the moon, PK Gal. Stand still. Now jump straight out. Okay. That was just awful. <laughs> This <laughs> is some of my worst playing ever. And it out this way. Okay, but I don't think there's anything up up on the vegetable. Yeah, you can't even climb that. You just kind of wall kick off it. Okay, two things now. Well, actually, three things, I guess. I gotta figure out which cannon leads up to that uh, third golden radish. Or turn up, I forgot what they were. It may have been this cannon, it may have been another cannon, I don't know, but I'm just gonna go inside the cannons and see what the poop is the scoop. Yeah, that was not the right cannon. Oh yeah, that's actually this cannon over here, the same one that I went in before. And I think there's other cannons down, yeah, that away. I don't think that's actually pointing in the right direction though. Uh, wasn't there another cannon way, way on the end though? Um. Let's see, maybe I can't get it right now, like the other Radish and Captain Toad and stuff like that. Well, Captain Toad I probably could get, as long as I can get a lava bubble over there, but... Uh, yeah, there's, now there's food over here, which you can break up and stuff like that, but yeah, it's looking like... That is all, uh... Blocked out there. So yeah, maybe the cannon is not here for me to be able to do that one, that's unfortunate. Hmm... Hmm... But what I can do... Let's try and get Lava Bubble by Captain Toad. I don't remember which direction I have to take it. I think this will be fine, like starting over here and going through this. I think, if I'm correct. Uh, well, let's see. Because I think I have to do some fanciful jumping and stuff like that to actually get... Oh, maybe I don't. Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> oh, no, it's actually blocked off. Um... How about I try over here and look, take a look down at Captain Toad. See that really quick. <clears throat> oh geez, I just noticed I'm like 33 minutes in this part. Wow, um... Yeah, this is gonna be my last thing for the video. I did not realize. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess there's this timer challenge. I don't think this is to get the Captain Toad though. This is just to get Key having a good time with the... Tri with a triple jump, and then you go back, get that moon, I guess... I guess it's that Captain Toe it won't be the last thing this part, after all. <laughs> Timer challenge 3, is it done? Uh, yeah, where did I get a, uh... Lava bubble, then? To get over to Captain Toad. Did I... did I really jump down from way up top with a lava bubble? I guess that's possible! 
Because I, I might have jumped over the edge with one of these to get the Captain Toad, which is, which is, I guess, a viable way to do it. But <laughs> oh, jeez! Of course, I would land on solid land, of all the places to land on. All right, all right. Try it again. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Dang it! Just home in on it. All right. Uh, I'm gonna jump off a little bit back this time. Look straight down. Dang it! <laughs> My blind jumps of guessing, looking for some sort of non-land isn't working. I just want to finish the part off, dang it. <laughs> Maybe I should try jumping off the back left, because that was where there were the least amount of platforms before? Yeah, okay. Back left it is then. <laughs> and Captain Toad is here. How's it going there? Don't be afraid, it's just me. It's okay, it's okay. Ah, how did I get out here? Oh, it's so hot here, I can't remember. Wow, sizzle time, right? I didn't find this moon power moon, though. Take it, all yours! Heck yeah. <laughs> Pulling up the teeth, Captain Toad. And he's like, now how'd I get back? You could take control of a po- Oh, no, you can't. <laughs> all right, so where does this lead to if I, if I use this one? Probably just like to, yeah, I was going to say the mountain climb. So that's not really a uh, super special landing location, especially since you kind of have to be up there to get a uh, lava bubble to get to there, to get back up here, and yeah. <laughs> so with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I head over to the next kingdom. Or should I say, kingdoms to explore. Ooh. Ooh.